hi guys welcome to my channel so i just wanted to jump on quickly and just do a little video so as it was um halloween yesterday so happy halloween everybody for yesterday um i couldn't jump on and do a video yesterday because like i say you know that we love this season completely so there was so much going on completely um we took our two children out trick-or-treating and they they took a friend each uh, we couldn't do it last year because, of course, COVID, horrible COVID. Um, and yeah, they had a great time, absolutely great time. So we were carving pumpkins yesterday as well in the morning time. And then, like I say, we, me and my husband always dress up full blown um, every year for Halloween. I usually try and duo with um, my daughter, Scarlett. So this year she went as Buffy the Vampire Slayer which I loved, big massive fan from the 90s. She's been watching it like crazy. So she has watched it all. We're actually re-watching it again because she loved it so much. Um, so yeah, we, we she went as Buffy the Vampire Sarah and then I went as a vampire for her to, for her costume to match. Uh, and she looked, she looked fab, absolutely great. So I was so, so pleased with it. And then my husband went as the crow. Yeah, and then our son, Corey, is he's getting a bit too cool for it now. So, but he still, he still did, he put a mask on. So he went as the purge he did yesterday. So he was happy for that. And I was happy that was good for me. He didn't want to wear anything um, this year. And I said, well, you're not going trick-or-treating then? That's, that's the rule. If you're not in a costume, you don't get to go. <laughs> you don't get to go trick I know I'm a cool mum, aren't I? But it's Halloween. We love it. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't give sweets to a kid at the door if they didn't have a costume on, you know, if they didn't have a mask on or, you know, they weren't dressed up. I mean, I must admit, us going out yesterday did worry me a little bit with Scarlett because maybe to a lot of people she didn't look like she had a costume on because, like I say, she was dressed as Buffy the Vampire Slayer and if you didn't, if you don't know that, then you wouldn't have known. But, you know, she had a steak with her as well. She even, um, we, there was a piece of scrap wood in the back garden a, a pole um so my husband cut it and and sharpened it in but you can't buy anything like that you definitely can't um buy anything even fake ones it's quite hard to come by now so yeah my um my husband got a scrap piece of wood and then we've just thrown it away when we got home after that so um yeah just sharpened it for not not too sharp just you know just enough for it. and she only had a little a little one so yeah we we loved halloween yesterday really really loved it uh we usually go trick-or-treating with our nieces and nephew um we take them and go but yeah this year they were with their dad so they went and did that so yeah really really hope they had a good time uh trick-or-treating as well you know with with their dad and um um chris's other sister so our other niece they went with them as well but like i say it was it was lovely for us because we could let the kids take a friend with them because uh, otherwise it's too much, it's, it's too much altogether. So yeah, we, we had a really, really nice time. And yeah, sadly, it might be the last one. I've I've kind of promised Corey that he can go next year on his own or with some friends, but w without us, without the cool adults. Um, cool, non-cool adults. Do you know what? I think it's really, really funny that no matter... Um, what kind of parents you have you always always think that they're not cool like you know no matter what you know obviously you know we're obviously rock and gothic and stuff like that and he, and he is too it's not like he's you know going against which we always laugh and said that you know our kids will probably not that we not that we mind at all we will love our children no matter what they you know we want them to grow into just for them to be them you know experience you know everything and stuff however they want to and we all love them no matter what but we did think it was funny and said that our children will probably grow up complete opposite to us you know with with anything that we like but but yeah th so far that you know they've got their own little little um quirky personality traits and stuff which we love absolutely love and all their you know quirky things they like and stuff which which we love too but there is lots of things that we really really love together um you know, as a family and stuff. But yeah, I did tell him next year he could go with his friend. So we'll be taking Scarlett either on her own or maybe she could take a friend with her again. Uh, trick or treat in. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And then I guess when they start getting a bit older, maybe we can just do more things in the house, watch horror movies. We've just started letting Corey watch a few horror movies here and there, depending on what it what it is. But yeah, we've we've there's a few that we've um we watched The Shining a little while ago, which. I don't I don't count as scary 
uh you know it doesn't scare me amazing film i love the shining brilliant stephen king brilliant 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 but i don't really count it as scary same as um the exorcist you know to me our generation i know to our parents generation it was terrifying um i get it but yeah to to me and chris not scary not, you know not a scary film but but it was a good little start you know shining's a very very good film to watch and it's got enough of that kind of like eerie and settlingness for scarlet like she watched it as well she did really good in a bit she didn't like was the was the woman in the bathtub um because she goes obviously all you know not very nice so yeah she didn't really like that bit um but yeah they you know it was she watched it and she was great and she said she enjoyed it um so yeah but and then Corey, we let him watch a nightmare on elm street um a little while ago because again i know they were made in their time and they're classics and they are and I'll, I'll watch them but again that's not one that i find scary i know the concept is very scary and it was very scary for its time and you know it's it's brilliant for the time it was released and stuff but um yeah i just wanted to like say just wanted to jump on i kind of talking all things halloweeny really just a little catch up of the month because like i say I haven't really done any videos because like I say it's just it's always so full on um like I say Scarlet turned 10 and um and yeah and we really sadly got Covid so that that kind of took a hit of our month which was really upsetting but yeah we really feel like we've done as much as we could and yeah still really had a good October month regardless um bought some new things that we always like to buy new halloween -y things and stuff like I say this skull blanket was one of the new ones that i got which i really love it's so super super soft and i'm glad i picked it up because when i went it was the only one well there was another one but in a gray color which which didn't look as good the contrast wasn't as nice and um it wasn't expensive either it was 9.99 for it total bargain as always you guys know i love my bargains um yeah so i it was really really like I say, was was the last and only one, and I was really like, mm, do I get it? Do I not? Do I wait? And then me and Scarlett were like, nope, let's get it. We'll grab it. And because it was in quite a big, it was sort of quite big wrapped up. Um, we couldn't, we didn't have a bag big enough uh, to carry it with us, so we just carried it under our arm. And everybody was stopping us, saying, oh, where did you get that from? They loved it. And I was like, oh, it was it was the last one. I was like, but it was from TK Maxx. That's where it was from. But I was like, yeah, it was the last one. We even had a lady in, in a shop that we went into that was trying to, would was willing to pay Scarlett lots more than we paid for it. And she weren't giving it up. No way. She was like, nope. I was like, yeah, you won't convince her. Like, <laughs> she ain't giving that up. No way. So, um, yeah, so we bought, like I said, a, a nice few things. And, and like I said before, we we did a few new designs on our on the front of our house this year. So we did a giant Halloween spider uh, web so we made it all out of string and then we got a couple of giant spiders and then we used the kids as um model cocoons we did some cling film wrapped rounds them and did that as a model um and they it looked it looked wicked it looked really, really cool outside uh we don't really have phobia of spiders in this house i mean we do but we're okay we're not you know we're not horrendous with them i mean we don't like to touch them and stuff but and we let daddy get them if they're in the house although Corey and Scarlet have been getting much braver especially Corey much much braver with them now and they will get little ones and get rid of them um but yeah we that's daddy's job we, we let we leave that to daddy just in case because we get some really big spiders in here sometimes that we don't like um but yeah so we did that on the front of the house and then we also did so we always do body bags uh with like Dexter style we've done that for a few years actually and we love 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 doing them uh, a few years they've um blown away and ended up on the other side of the of the square which doesn't look good when chris is going out to work at five in the morning and he's having to go across the street and you know cart these body bags back <laughs> back over to us because if the wind's been so bad it did happen this year as well the the weather has been absolutely horrendous for halloween for us here we put our decorations up about over a week ago so over about over a week before halloween and um yeah I, i'm so proud of our decorations of how we constructed them and that they've survived because i just really didn't think they were going to make it every time there's that 
torrential wind and rain i'm just like they're gonna go they're gonna collapse i'm sat in the house like we've obviously gone out a handful of times to reset a couple of things you know just but but they're still standing strong they're still out there right now i keep looking out the windows like it's, it's a bit sunny today but it keeps going in and out but we are going to be getting them down uh today um but yeah we we did like i say we did body bags so this year we very kindly had some dolls donated to us um the uglier the better uh babies uh you know baby dolls or or any kind of dolls really we had a, we've got a couple of old granny ones as well um me and scarlet went to town on them with nail polish and made them look you know spooky spooky scary um and we actually had the dolls carrying we someone sent us a an idea uh that was on it was on pinterest or someone's done it before not not our idea not original but um, yeah, it was the dolls actually carrying the body bag. <laughs> it looks great, looked absolutely amazing. Like I say, I will put a picture um, up here for you to to see. Like I say, we were really proud of it, and we we entered. Um, well, we didn't we didn't personally enter ourselves at first. Someone messaged us and said that there was a community Halloween house decoration competition, and that you know we should enter into it. So you know we did, and and we actually won it. We found out. Uh, last night we won it when we got back from trick-or-treating uh, so that was a really really nice really nice surprise um yeah perfect end to a halloween so we were really happy for that uh yeah it was great but yeah sadly it is the end of halloween you know is the end of october is the end of halloween um and yeah as much as i absolutely love you know halloween we're mad on it we do we do love christmas in this house too but like i've said before we always um our christmas tree is black and our christmas decorations are nightmare before christmas and you know we we do love we love all the the dark reds or you know quite the rich i wouldn't say dark necessarily we do go for red but the really rich reds um and the and the really dark foresty greens and stuff for christmas and like i say yeah our, our christmas tree um a nightmare for christmas decorations although we have lots of disney decorations on it too um when it does get put up i'm hoping it's soon i'm really hoping it's soon i'm trying so much with my my husband um let me last year because it was covid because we were all in in isolation and inside uh he let me so the deal we've made for years like i say we've been together like 13 14 years so the deal has always been my husband's birthday is the 10th of november so it's always been that we wait until after his birthday to put, to put Christmas decorations up, sorry. Um, and yeah, I, like I said, I got last year, literally as soon as Halloween decorations went down, we put up the Christmas decorations. See, to me, it makes sense as well, because you put all the Halloween decorations away, you have a good, good clean down, dust, tidy. They all go back in the loft. And when you take them up to the loft, you then bring the Christmas ones down. It just it just seems more realistic, you know. To me, it seems like a time saver. I, you know, I don't know why you wouldn't just do it that way. It just seems practical. It's logical to me that, you know, so yeah, I think we need our Christmas decorations down, definitely. So I woke up on this morning, which is the 1st of November, and, you know, was really, really sad. I'm holding on to the last of the Halloween stuff. Like I said, I got my American Horror Story t-shirt on. I love American Horror Story so much and got my skull blanket and sat with it and like i say my decorations are still all up but when scarlet gets home from school today we'll be taking them all down together getting them all packed away properly and, and dried out and stuff like that the ones outside will need some drying out uh, touch wood it's it's not rained yet it's very cloudy outside it keeps going sunny cloudy sunny cloudy i'm hoping it won't rain so that they've they're dry you know they're dryish and then we can get them put away but i um I made Scarlett laugh this morning when we woke up. She woke up to get ready for school. And um, she was like, wait, is it, it's not October anymore? And I was like, no, no, yesterday was, you know, was Halloween. And she was like, what? She's like, I said, yeah, it's, it's the 1st of November today. And um, there was a clip on, on Facebook that was Mariah Carey. Loved it, absolutely loved it. There was pumpkins and they were in the pumpkins. It said, it's almost time and um, it's obviously supposed to be midnight turns midnight after halloween and, and she goes out with a baseball bat and she bashes all the pumpkins in and then she starts singing you know her all i want for christmas song and 
it's all Christmas and everything like that. So, yeah, I woke up this morning and um, I showed her that, which she was roll laughing, rolling her eyes at. And then um, I started playing Christmas Christmas songs as well, which she was laughing at me for. So, yeah, basically, I will just, you know, it was Halloween yesterday and then... That's it. It's Christmas now. That's it. I've declared it. 1st of November, it's Christmas. So, yeah, we just, like I say, that's it. It's Christmas. I don't care what anybody else says, like, at all. Just, you don't need that hate. If you want to put your Christmas decorations up now, do it. Get them up. Like I say, hate's going to hate anyway. That's it. It's Christmas now. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you very, very soon. Like I say, we've had an awesome Halloween and now we will be going into Christmas. So, yep, yeah, keep watching. There'll be lots of Christmassy things coming up now. And like I say, we always keep our, our little gothic, um, you know, black Christmas tree edge on it and stuff like that as well. So thanks for watching. As always, lots and lots of love, lots of love to everybody. Thank you so, so much for continuing to watch me. I know I can talk for England, um, but yeah, I, that's why I do these because I thought, why not? I love talking and yeah, I can share some pearls of wisdom sometimes or, or maybe just, you know, just you can laugh at me. Whatever the reason, you know, I'm very, very thankful. So yeah, please hit a like, um, any comments, uh, follow, you know, subscribe for me. Um, and yeah, just just like I say, as always, I'm, I'm really, really honoured and thankful. And don't forget, guys, believe in Santa. See you soon.